Hello and good day, everyone. Welcome back to the show. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. In today's episode, we got a special guest in the house. He played Brian Tenor in one of my favorite sitcoms of all time, Alf. Ben Gregory, welcome to the show, my man. Thank you so much. I've been looking forward to it. Wonderful, Ben. Now, the funny part is... And this just shows that we all are getting older. Alf is so many years ago, and you were such a little kid when you started to play uh, Brian. Now, I'm very curious about how did you even land the role of Brian Tenner? How I acquired the role? Yes. Um, actually, it's funny because I, I went through a very long uh, interview process where uh, I actually ended up, I guess, winning the role. Um, it, but yeah, it was a long process and it ended up finally in a high rise building uh, in uh, downtown Los Angeles, where it was actually between me and one other young child who was a little bit famous, he uh, he was uh, known for his role in the movie Flatliners. Oh, classic movie. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it, he it was between me and him. And they chose you. They ended up choosing me. <laughs> absolutely now do you remember how did they explain your character or what did they tell you what the show was going to be about because i try to imagine alf was a pretty different sitcom than than your average sitcom what did they explain to you well there was actually a lot of focus on the technical aspects of the show in other words uh they they told me things like make sure you look at alf you don't look at the puppeteer um they told me things like the about the set the set was actually built uh above about five feet off yes. the ground so just so Alf would have a platform to move around and make sure that uh, he was able to go into certain positions and all of that. And so uh, all these things were explained to me ahead of time uh, to make sure that I knew what was going to be coming ahead. You know, you just mentioned Alf. How difficult was it for you to interact with basically a non-existent real person? Because, <laughs> be, because, and this is something that I'm telling many, many people at my age group. I tell them all, oh, you got to rewatch Alf. It really holds up. And the chemistry between you and Alf feels so genuine. Like you really feel like Alf is a real person. You are interacting with a real person. It, it seems like the two of you really enjoy each other's company. And he's sort of your big brother in, in some regards. How tough was it for you as a kid to interact with Alf? Um, it, it actually became not too difficult. Um, I I don't, I can't quite recall like the early interactions, but I, I can tell you um, that it, it became quite natural to interact with a puppet and, you know, look at his face and then make sure that I that I, I, knew, I knew what was going on and everything. Yeah, it became quite natural to interact with Elf. Interesting. Very, very interesting. When Can you recall when was the first time that you realized that you were part of a hit show? Because Elf was huge. Um, actually, I... 
I don't really remember any moment or anything like that where I became aware of some of Alf being a big hit. Um, I do remember that uh, they they uh, they brought in uh, the Nielsen ratings the day after they came out. So we were always competing with a show called Major Dad. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know if anybody remembers of that. Of course, of course. But uh, it was about uh, like a Marine officer who was a father and he interacted with uh, his family in, uh, you know, I, I guess in like a Marine way. I, I don't know. I never really watched the show. I just know that we did end up competing with them time after time. And um, we we most often won that slot. We actually did uh, end up winning that slot uh, for, I think it was Monday night. Monday night, primetime, NBC. And uh, yeah, that's how it was. And there's no question which show, in hindsight, is the bigger and the longer-lasting show. Um, (laughs) Alpha is still popular even until today. As I I told you before, I'm living in Germany, and and, uh, we got all the ALF DVDs still still in the shops and everything, the younger generation buying the uh, the DVDs and stuff. And And I personally feel that the show is really holding up well. So my question to you now is... When was the last time that you watched an ALF episode? Um, funny you ask, because I actually bought the DVD set about six or eight months ago. Nice. And um, I have, I actually have one of the discs in my computer as we speak. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a, it's a, it was an episode where uh, me and Alf were kind of arguing about what he's going to do and if he still has a passion for eating cats and all of that. But you know what? It's funny that you say that you're in Germany right now because uh, I have... I, I get a lot of fan mail to this, even to this day. Nice. Um, and probably 80% of it, it comes from Germany. Wow. Yeah, ALF was huge over here. I mean, I know how big it was in, in the States and so on, but in Germany, ALF was running on television. I would say, like, up until 2010, I would, I would really believe that ALF was still running on television, which is amazing. Yeah, that that is quite uh, fascinating. Yeah, and you seem to yeah your your characters seem to stuck with people because I remember as a kid when I was watching Alf, I think I was like six or seven ish. Um, next to Alf, you were my favorite human character because you were always <laughs> the one that was yeah but yeah. A you were almost my age so i could resonate with you b right. you, you were always the one who was sticking up for alf when he was doing his bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you you were always on his side and you always had his back so obviously you were a character that i was very very fond of yeah i guess it, it does resonate with a lot of people because i you know like i said i i still get a lot of fan mail to this day and they actually uh, say things just like you, very similar to the things that you just said. Yeah, man. Alf is, yeah, Alf will never ever die. Ben, it was <laughs> it was amazing having you on the show. It was great talking to you. Thank you very much for taking the time. I really, really appreciate it. And you seem like the person that would answer fan messages on Instagram, right? I actually try to go out of my way to uh, interact with fans and um, try to uh, answer their questions and all that. 
Yeah, very, very nice. So, guys, if you want to hear more information about Alf and, and Ben's journey with Alf, check him out on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, he will even reply. Ben, thank you so much, man, for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you. I had a good time. 